Tegan always looks gorgeous. I see her all over my Facebook page. Show the chips. How can you miss them? They're natural, of course. Is this video going? Oh, this is for. I'm not sure what I can actually see. The real drag queen. Well, I'll edit it out, all your naughty bits, so. I want to be on this too. Hi. What's your name? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I saw a video at the bar earlier. Yes. That vile queen that knocked over your drink. Exactly. We sorted her out, didn't we? Exactly. That fucking bitch. <laughs> I agree like, with you. Seriously, oh, how dare she? Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Bye. She only fucking came in for the cheese platter. <laughs> Where's the cheese platter? Oh, I saw it in her eyes. What? And, and it gets she kept looking at it too. Don't touch the cheese plate. And it gets like, worse. What there's does, already, there's, already been, there's already been people fingering the fucking twiggies. Where are your twiggies? Here's the cheese platter here. Ah. It's, the, it's a lovely DT's cheese platter. But we don't, don't like I was, I was standing there waiting to go on in the holding pen near the male toilet and somebody came past with a cube of cheese. They'd already been in the cheese platter, fingering the twiggies soon. I don't like that kind of talk. Fingering the twiggies. Aren't my fingering. You don't have your twiggies fingered very often, do you, Susie? She, hates, she doesn't mind fingering. She just hates I don't mind fingering. You know, when I decided to come back to do a show again, I did it for a couple of reasons. One, because I like the girls, and also we get this. Now it is this. called a now wonderful last It is actually very nice. It's very retro, it's 1970s. It's One time we had a hedgehog, if you remember from the 70s, what a hedgehog is. Yes. I wouldn't mind fondue. But you used to get really, when we first started, we got ham off the bone. We don't have ha ham off the bone anymore. We have breast ham. Now, do you like, do you like a gherkin? Would you like a gherkin? No, thank, no, I, no, no thanks, I'm full. I want full. the gherkins for later, they're for me for later. <laughs> We can't eat the Twiggies because they're for a reader. We can't eat the Gherkins, they're for her for later. She's a fucking bitch. There's Cabana. No, no, she likes that now. Oh, she has the Cabana now. You can eat the cube cheese. You can have a, you can have a cube of cheese. <laughs> I love it. Rita really, really, really is. She's absolutely... She's really what you hear. I am an absolute... So I, I haven't seen you for a while, Candy. What's what's happening in your world? Uh, not much. I've discovered Gianna Liano, perfume. I'm loving it. Yes, I, you were running her down on stage. I was, I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, I hope she doesn't hate you. No. Do, no. Do, do, do you have anything to say to Rita, to Gina, who might be watching this? Well, well Gina, I mean, I, I think it's fantastic, and I get it. I, I watched The Real Housewives of Melbourne when you were looking for the top notes in your perfume of the jump off. And then I followed the career, and I know you said you wanted to go global. Paris, Milan, London, Wherever. Wherever. <laughs> I think that says it all. That's true. And really, if you are going to do a wonderful range of gorgeous perfumes, like Chris and Dior or Chanel, I don't think where you be is where you should start. Oh, I'm going to sit my big fat ass down. So what's been rocking your world, Rita? Oh, look, it's been a while since we've spoken. Um, not a lot, really, just chugging away here. I see you've had your hair done. Uh, <laughs> it needs a redo. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little bit manky. I've dyed my No, the colour. I was referring to the colour. It's very bright. It's very you. Is it? Yes. Are you sure it's not old? No, no, no. It's... Are you sure I'm not old? Well, I'm not sure. I can't tell through that Botox face <laughs> of yours. Uh, look, I've been very, very well just doing what I do. There's been a lot of gossip around town this week. I hear about a certain showgirl who had a facelift. Oh, do tell. A very radical facelift. Oh, really? And apparently, she was pinning a hat on backstage 
and caught her hat pin in one of the stitches <laughs> and ripped it out mid-show no. and it was pissing blood all down her face. Oh. And they had to, Connie Lingus had to mop her up. <laughs> oh, that's and terrible. send her on stage. And I said to Candy, surely, like football, there's some kind of blood rule. <laughs> Whereas if you're, on the, if you're on the playing field, you're not allowed to spray the, cr the crowd with blood. But evidently not. So yeah, she's been, she's been exposed. And there's another showgirl around town who was recently, and I will be, I'm not gloating, because I'm sure people gloat. Because that's not like you. Oh, no. <laughs> she does gloat. Yeah, I, I have, does not we, all, we all know about my infamous sacking. Well, apparently there's been another show girl recently who's been given the arse from a venue. And I, you know, I'm reserved in my opinion of that. Well, these things happen. We all she get happens. sacked from jobs, don't we? It's showbiz. It's it show is. Yes. Well, there's employment. Well, the beauty thing I came in for some calcium supplements and they got Whether or not they get paid or not, I don't know, but it's still important. No, they don't get paid. We only do it because we love it. We do not get paid. Um, but this particular young lass, and evidently... Um, I guess why got paid. <laughs> I went in, listen, listen to the story behind it. I went to the yesterday to buy some fabric and a person who shall remain unknown who works there said to me, you have no idea what's just happened. So I was just given the whole, the whole thing just fell in my lap without any provocation. Have you heard, of, heard this yet, Suze? You've heard the goss? What's that? About the showgirls and the stitches and the backing. Oh, I love the stitches bit. That's heaven. That's cash. Going out with blood. That's doing it for the... Uh, do you know what I say to that? I say to that, it might be time to reevaluate your priorities. If you're actually like sticking hat pins into stitches and ripping them out of your head, it might be a little bit time to maybe think about things just a little, tiny bit. Just think, am I going in the right direction? I don't know. Yes, maybe we should be thinking. Are we going in the right direction, do you think, Suze? Because you know what? <laughs> you get the same effect from a roll of elastoplast. Yes, seriously. Are you in the right direction? Are you going in the right direction? Are you, going in the Are right you right headed in the right direction for my loving Headed affection? in the right direction for your loving and affection. Erection. Erection. <laughs> what about I'm you, Are you that. heading in the right direction? Now, I'm also, I've got to ask you this, the obligatory, obligatory question. Who's, be, who's big, who's bold and who's bitter? Yeah, I think Candy's a bit bitter tonight. Are you bitter? I'm really bitter. And what about you, Rita? I'm feeling quite bold. <laughs> I'm big. Are you? <laughs> I am. Do you know I have Tell a, me, call me now. I've had two slices of toast and two cup of soups all day, and I'm still as fat oh as a fucking God. pig. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Can we talk about what you eat on a Saturday? Oh, oh God. It, I have a celery stick. A celery Is that so you're not bloated on stage? Yeah. yeah. Every single Saturday, what we do is we starve ourselves in the vain hope that we might fit into our costumes after we've been binge eating for the rest of the week. Well, right, but today I've had... I, fuck off. Um, she's eating a Twiggy. I, today I've had a banana, a cup of instant coffee, and two scrambled eggs without toast. And I still I couldn't fit into the fucking costume. I had a Winfield food. Does that count? Well, I think it's calories. <laughs> you could always take them out, like make them look a little bit larger, the costume. Larger oh, than oh they're already a bit moo moo ish, aren't they? <laughs> How much bigger do you want it? An Ashton oh. Circus tent? You're, you're a, oh, Bollywood tonight. I'm okay. very Bollywood. I'm very. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm very Mahendran. Hello, Mahendran, wherever you are. Very, very Tikka Masala. Yeah. Tikka mm, Masala. Yes. I'm doing chicken tikka. 60s look. You're doing a 60s look, yes? Which I know the guys are loving. Yeah. It's half the sexiest. It kind of says so much. It says so little. So the 60s look never really went out, did it? It didn't. You know, it's the whole thing, you know. Hot men, hot girl. Great like Twiggy. Tonight, uh, tonight is my lucky night. Why I is change that? the shoes. <laughs> um, and I might even, after here, go to the Peel. I will. I might happen to see you there. You know the what? Peel. I have not. Since I started here, we've been here about, about six months, I have not had sex since I started DTs. So that tells you something. That'll do it. You've got all the other girls that get in. In my ass. Do it to you every time. You're not getting it, are you, Rita? Not at the moment, no, and I'm very upset about it. Are you getting it, Susan? I'm doing it to myself. <laughs> oh, at least you're getting it. 
I refuse to do it much to myself because I think it's a waste. I <laughs> even C won't do it. I won't do it. Even I won't do it myself. <laughs> and I was going to go and buy some, uh, you know, that new, they've got that new ammo uh, from the um, sex shop. Yeah. Uh, it's $30 as opposed to the $35 one. But then I spelled her Gianna the owner. I don't need that. I'm just going to borrow her first. Don't you buy the $50 one? Apple. Yeah, I know. Not Gianna, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> is there a difference? Candy on the dance floor with a Gina Liana. <laughs> is there a difference? Different Gina Liana. <laughs> She's bold. Well, She's you, you buy the $50 one. The ammo, yeah. I've been buying the $30 one. You can't be expecting a gentleman call it, yeah. I'll go the whole lot. Yeah. 50? Yeah. Well, what about you? I don't like ammo. I look at it as an investment. Well, it's, it's absolutely an investment. I've never been keen, but, you know. Three minutes on next tube and I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's all too sad. I'm really sad. Well, look, I've, had a, I've had a bit of a drought recently. There was a moment there for I, I, I was fighting them off with a stick, two and three a day, and lately I can't get the dog to play with me. It's like, it's like, it's like Tyson chops around my neck. Which part are you I playing in? Get you need more chops. Yeah, more chops. You should go to the dog park. <laughs> Raw snags or something. I don't know, but I can't, the I can't get a fucking dog to fuck me. Just speaking about not being fucked recently, can I tell you how long it's been? Picture this, Sicily. Sicily. No, I haven't had a man close to me. No, close to me. I mean, the last one I think I did was how long ago? Uh, what she year needs, is it? She needs a man to hold her. <laughs> I want to be Carol's mother's day because I, I haven't had anything. Well, why do you think that is, Candy? What What is it you think you're doing wrong? I'm hanging around with her. What do you hey, think Candy's doing wrong? But mind you, you're not getting me. it either. Um, no, look, she's not going to the peel. I think she. Can, I, I'm told her this. She needs to go to the peel. Yeah. She's limiting limiting herself. Um, what I'm doing wrong is I'm logging on, logging onto these apps at the wrong time of the day. I'm logging on like late afternoon, and then I'm at her place having a drink to get ready to go into the show. And I just say, look, the door's open. I'm on the bed with my ass in the air with a blindfold on. Yourself. Did you make the blind yourself? But I did. If you've got a blind on, blindfold on, can't they tiptoe out again? Actually, they should be wearing a blindfold. Mate, if they've got a blindfold, them as they come through the door. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the sad thing is, the tragic thing is not even that works now. It's terrible. A blindfold. Steve, have you had a good night tonight? Oh yes, fabulous. I've very, very much enjoyed the show tonight. We've, we've Except seen... for one particular number, that shall remain nameless. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, you know, there's, there's good... There's bad. There's, there's big bad. bad. <laughs> I got the big there's bad. Ugly. Yeah, and like there's old and new. We try yes. to do a bit of new. And all, all, all of us encompass all of those every things. Every drag show has a bit of repetition. You know, I mean, yes. Uh, you know, you have to lock it on. Yes. Matter. We try to do the best we can do. Did you like Goldfinger? I loved Goldfinger. Yeah. I saw you do that on that side job at the St Kilda Hotel yeah. at Christmas. Yeah. I haven't seen it since then, and yeah. I just love it. It's all about. The I love this. This. Oh, can I touch the? Oh, it's beautiful, Candy. It's like a Christmas present, isn't it? It is. Well, should we go and have a cigarette? Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Goodbye. Susie Goodbye. doesn't smoke, but she's having a cigarette. Yeah. But she, she just likes I'll, take, I'll take a Twiggy. <laughs> take a Twiggy. Not too many onion and a pickled onion. Just Don't a fresh touch on my the breath. fucking pickled onion. Just a fresh on my breath. <laughs> Hi, Nova. I love you, girl. Oh, is Nova there? I love our little Snapchats. Love them. Oh, love them. Is Nova in there? She's yeah, in there somewhere. Yeah. Can't you see her? Hi, Nova. Nova, you there? I love my Snapchats with Nova. Fucking heaven. Don't tell me it was fucking like. Don't tell me it was like last time.